Weather Rate Certified Most Accurate Forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Our heat advisory still in effect. It is still pretty hot here in our area. That runs until 7 o'clock tonight. We're still talking uh, hot conditions after that too. So again, just use some caution if you're going to be out and about later on this evening. Our current temperature 93 degrees here in Waco. It is 93 over toward Limpasas. Just as hot as you work your way off to the uh, East 92 in Hearn and the Palestine area checks in right at 91 degrees. But take a look at all of the heat index numbers all in the triple digits. 107 is what it feels like in Tempo, 103 in Queen, 105 here in Waco and Mahia. Your current heat index 101 degrees. Quiet conditions for the most part, but out ahead of a dry line, showers and thunderstorms are firing up. Again, with the heat of the day, a little dry line activity going on. That's where the thunderstorm activity is. Otherwise, we're looking at relatively quiet weather for the most part. Few clouds well down to the south and east, but eventually all that will start to be moving in our direction overnight tonight. Take a look at our future cast. 7 o'clock tonight. Again, quiet conditions. If you are headed out tonight, maybe meeting some friends, we are looking good, but we are looking very warm. Temperatures falling back into the upper 80s and lower 90s by midnight around 80, 83 degrees or so for temperatures, but notice the clouds begin to creep back in here. So once again, by tomorrow morning, mostly cloudy skies, temperatures very, very sticky tomorrow morning, upper 70s to lower 80s to start the day. And then throughout the day tomorrow, we're going to see a lot of clouds, temperatures climbing into the low to mid 90s. There could be another heat index around 104, 105 in the afternoon. And then by late uh, Saturday into early Sunday, a complex of rain tries to move through. Again, there will be a slight chance to our north. Looks like late Saturday into early Sunday, but most areas will stay dry. And as we start the day on Sunday, it'll be mostly cloudy. Again, a little sunshine from time to time with temperatures climbing into the upper 80s, lower 90s. There will be a chance of scattered showers and storms, I think, in the afternoon hours, mainly to the east of I-35. But as we hit the evening hours and overnight, a much better chance right here in our region. Matter of fact, the Storm Prediction Center has most of our area under a slight risk of severe weather. This is for Sunday night as that a st uh, storm system approaches as an upper level system moves in here by the Sunday night into early Monday. So we'll watch for the threat of some very strong winds and some hail. As for tonight, though, increasing clouds, very warm, about 80 degrees, and then tomorrow mostly cloudy, breezy and humid, 95 the high with a heat index of 105. And take a look at the long range forecast. There's our rain chances. They go up by Sunday evening, Monday, a 60% chance of showers and storms, but temperatures all week long will be hovering in the low to mid 90s for highs and same story down toward the Brazos Valley again dry tomorrow, but some showers and storms begin to move in by late Sunday into Monday into Tuesday with temperatures very seasonal. As you can see there, they will be in the low to mid 90s.